Holy Wire Mod here, and this is tutorial 6B in the Expression 2 series where I'm going to be covering arrays and the push, pop, shift, and insert function. So let's get started by getting rid of all the nonsense. And actually, this can be a persist. Um, we are going to have an array of type array, and that's going to be defined as an array of 1, 2, 3, and 4. So let's say that. I want to print this array onto the screen. So do that, and you can see it's the bottom left, uh, one, two, three, four in brackets. That represents an array. On uh, say we want to take that array, and we want to add the value 10 to the end. So we'd take push, and we define the data type we're pushing onto it. So we're going to take a number, and we're going to say that number is going to be 10. And let's print that array again. I'm going to copy this. Going to be using this a lot. All right, so now you can see one, two, three, four, ten in the brackets. Um, whenever I pop a value, I remove the last value at the end. So usually you can use pop here. Um, if you were to actually put pop number, since you're popping a number, um, what actually that's for is like if you want to assign it, say uh, number equals whatever, it's going to equal right here, Whoop. put number right here is equal to the pop number value and it'll upload fine. If I don't put that number here, uh, if I just put pop, there'll be an error because you have to have a, uh, the same data types match. So anyway, we're simply going to put pop right here because we're not assigning that pop to anything. We're just getting rid of it. Um, we can do the opposite of a push function which is the unshift function and we're gonna say number because we have to define the type again and we'll say we want to do 20 this time Let's print array so see instead of at the end of the uh, array it puts 20 at the beginning of the array so you got 20 1 2 3 4 and shift, as you may have guessed, is just like the pop function. So we're going to shift that. And we don't have to define a data type because we're not assigning it. We're not saying number again is equal to shift number like this. We are simply going to put shift and print that. And as you can see, it gets rid of the first value from the array instead of the last value as pop would. Now you can insert a value anywhere into the array by putting the insert command. And you're going to put the data type. Then you put the index that you want to be inserted. So what, let's say I want to put this at index number 3. I should pop it right in the middle. And I want to put a value of 5. And I'm going to print that array again. So there you have it. You have 5 in the middle right here. And if you want to likewise remove that, you type remove number. Actually, I believe you can just remove. And then you would give a uh, index. So let's say we want to remove that 5 again. Put 5. Now uh, print that real quick. and There we go. 5 removed. If we want to remove that from the array form and combine all those values together to make a value of 1234, we could say that we want to take this array and we're going to concat it and we're going to separate it by nothing. So it's going to be just 1,234 at the end, which as you can see it is right here. And if we want to make it or separate it by space, we'd simply put a space right here. So it's 1, space 2, space 3, space 4. And if we want to even say it like that, we can do it like music, 1 and 2 and 3 and 4. So that's a 
very good overview of all the commands that you can use. Uh, concat gets a little bit more involved. But uh, next time, be going into strings, and I'll see you then.